ever mess no with. No matter them. what tournament. And people, we, we say like wackiest things too. Like if someone says to me, like some of the stuff that we say to Moogie, I turn out what? <laughs> I'm sleepy. <Moogie. laughs> I'm sleepy, Moogie. Take me home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Kiki playing that Diddy Kong, yeah. doing really well lately. I want to see how he kind of continues to grow as a player. But then we have Moogie. Corn extraordinary. Corn of CFL. Corn of Florida, honestly. Oh, man. I, I would feel bad for the winner of this, though. Yeah, so this is... You know, how far is this in the practice? This, this is a pretty is tight battle. This is before winner's quarters. Okay. Round to four. Okay, cool. So, yeah. pretty far in. For yeah. a stack the tournament as this is, yeah. it makes sense. And we're going to have a lot of great matches yeah. from here on out. Now, no matter, after this. Like, we still acknowledge Kiki as one of our best, but he's still not PR. Well, yeah, but we haven't had a new season yet. True, but still. he got good after we. <laughs> yeah, um, definitely going to be PR. I know, but it's like this. when we go to a different region, to be like, I'm not PR. They'll be like, what? But he's a household name, so that's that's what really matters. You yeah. know, being able to do so well out of region, exactly. while in region, you know, that's that's a mark of a real player. We're gonna have to see how he does at nationals coming up. Hopefully, he gets thrown out to something. Brought in a stellar tag. GXG got, will help him in the future. Yeah. They're, he they did sponsor him for CEO Dreamland. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Same one as Duffos. So, jumping into this, both these players are extremely good in the neutral. These are going to be two neutral heavy characters as well. We're going to oh. see how they try to mix each other up right off the bat. Mookie's looking pretty solid. Controlling the space, controlling it, but jumping into the action. Look for those grabs. Keep going. This honestly can go either way. They've been about even in their set, especially from what I've seen. Yeah. Alright, so one thing to just look for in this match. Watch how Kiki mixes up his ground game. Watch how he evades on the ground, finds something in the ground. And then watch Mugi in his short hop aerial game. Watch how he tries to cross up his opponent there and win the neutral with the short hops with the aerial. Oh, that was a little risky right there, Kiki. Wow. Oh, man. The double patience yeah. right there. Oh, definitely. Kiki is really good at turning it on and off, too. That hot and gold game. Where you, where you just apply the pressure or just sit and shield. Yeah, but right now, Kiki. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. Ooh. And then the up. And off the stage with that backer. Like that quick little combo there. I love the that. Like, did you just see that weird pin angle? Yeah. Could it have gotten hit by oh, that? Oh, yeah, you can definitely. That's trying to pin underneath a ledge, catch a two-frame, or maybe even a little more as the recovery, depending on the recovery. Oh, yeah, when you go up, it could hit, like, yeah. right under. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's a scary thing to deal with with a simple recovery. Like, yeah, Diddy Kong. luckily, it's not a hitbox. It just stays active like yeah. a Gordo. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I think so. It's easy back here from the mid-stage. High rage, though. Kiki taking a big breath. Jumping back in the action. going to hit him off the stage here. This is something you'll see employed a lot from Kiki. He doesn't tend to do uh, look for hoo-hahs or anything like that, especially at higher percent. He'll tend to throw his opponent off the stage. Kind of try, try to control the neutral. Play the long game. And right now, staying pretty clear. Oh. Great oh, no. aerial spacing coming in from Mugi. His positioning is so Done. good. All right, jumping into Mugi's second stock. Only applying 28%. Oh, no. But if he keeps the momentum going from this stock, let's see how he kind of changes it up on Mugi. Maybe trying to mix up his game so that Kiki does not adapt. Ooh. Right now, Mugi's making sure to keep him on the ledge. Oh, no. Combo wow. game from Kiki's being good right now. Yeah, so much aerial pressure. Almost eating it. Oh, God. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I love that. It covers a lot of different options. And gets back safely, honestly. Oh. Doing good. Oh, Trump. Trump. Oh. Maybe something here. Two, definitely. Oh. That was a great reaction with the shield right there. It's right off that shield. Yes, those are the cross-ups. 
And there's some more. They just comply that pressure, especially when you're kind of feel unsafe in a certain area of the air. Just enveloping yourself with this, these giant swords. Let's see if Kiki can honestly turn it up. Oh, wow. What a recovery from Lugi. It's not a little aerial drift there. I don't know. Down throw is not going to kill, so he goes for that one. Next one's definitely going to be an up throw. Or, or an up, up air. air. There you go. A good catch. Kiki coming, almost coming all the way back. Yeah, he was turning it up, but Mugi against the edge was able to predict where he's gonna go. Yeah. Up, roll, getting up. Mugi covered it all. Honestly. And well, another thing we have to note there is when Mugi got hit by the banana, he didn't. You know, even though he's off stage, he didn't opt to go toward the stage. That's something a lot of us players will do. We yeah. want to get back to stage. Instead, he didn't want to get combo, and then he kind of just di'd out, covered what he needed to. Ooh, nice beginning right there by Kiki. Oh, all right, but Mugi with a little counter action of himself. He has got the banana. Trying to control the neutral. I like that. Yeah, covering, covering kind of the counter attack. Oh. Got the grab. Yeah. You know, Diddy Kong is one of those characters that you see roll a lot as a positioning movement. Not necessarily an evasion movement. Seeing it there. Kind of the ground mix up like I was talking about earlier. Oh wow, patience for Blue. Yeah, I like think a, from Kiki. Like a lot of like top tier characters, they can just build a wall. Uh definitely with once you're in the edge, with Diddy Kong's banana, his great aerials, and amazing down tilt. There's like a lot of coverage covered. Yeah. But I haven't seen Kiki use a lot of that. It's more Moogie just on the O. Oh. Wow, what an early stop coming up from Kiki. Great stuff there with that banana forward smash play. You know, and like what you were saying earlier, just a second ago, a lot of fights in general, whether in game or real life, are very defensive and nice. hard. No jump though. All about finding those openings, and Oogie is finding some opening. We saw some patience there. I'm surprised he didn't go for the just that's up all air. up air, but yeah, but it looks I think like he maybe he's going to grab. For something bigger. It just depends. Okay. But Kiki not phased at all, throwing up some damage. Still haven't lost the stock though. No, looking pretty solid here. No, 108 isn't too bad. It's right. Yeah, might it's might be here a little bit scary. It's a little different. And we're also seeing like Mookie's not playing as confidently in Kiki's face. It's allowing Kiki to try to control the neutral here, but also playing more aggressively himself. Ooh, or just the tip though, catching him with that back air. Moogie sealing off that stock. But back to the action. We see Kiki coming in with that grab, a little damage. The banana here applying tons of pressure. That banana on shield is good for Divicon. You're still in position to get a lot. And right now, who are you trying to approach back? Is that it? Two! Oh wow, got cut by that peanut. Kiki looking very solid right now. Moogie's no. just trying to find his footing yeah, in this neutral. Rage, rage Corn is a scary thing. We'll see what happens here. He's winning the neutral. He has something off the stage. Ooh! Oh, okay. Look for the air dodge. Yeah, DD. Kiki was very smart about that, knowing that's going to happen. Yeah, I know he has a combo from fair off the stage into instant pin. I'm not sure if he can get that. Yes, that's the percent. You know, that, that is a 50-50, but it's the percent you want to be at to look for that pseudo hoo-ha. You know, it's high percent, but when you're at low rage still. What I want to see right now is the Moogie stay calm, looking at him fudging right there. He's like, ah, Diddy Kong. It's like, that's not the attitude you want to see in game three. Yeah. The attitude is like, no, I'm going to win. I'm going to move on and win the tournament. That's the attitude you always got to put out when you lose a game. And we really saw Kiki capitalize on that over-defensiveness and that unsurety coming out from Boogie that second yeah. stop. We're going to jump into this game three situation. Boogie versus GXG Kiki. Yeah, putting in a lot of work right now. But Moogie making sure to keep him out. It's me keeping him out, dude. Moogie's just on fire. Uh, honestly, both these players are. And look at that aerial evasion. I love that. Oh, the platform has the pin. Just that reverse to keep him off the stage. That would have killed anyways. 
Oh, oh yeah, no. using that banana to just ensure that trip. Even when you're sitting in shield, that will trip you. It goes underneath. Oh. Right now, a lot of rolling and moving around by both players. Not a lot of action, but we're both at nearly even percent. I don't blame them. Wow. That was an uh, interesting choice by Kiki using a flip kick. I don't know what he had planned there, but it gave Moogie some free percent. And now they're almost at neutral again by just 1% off. God. Definitely a lot of mental pressure here coming out from both these players. You see a lot of shielding in neutral, but then also kind of feeling each other out. Who's going to take the bait first? Who's going to try to get out of shield first? Oh, wow. Oh. Pivots coming out from Kiki. Grabbing the banana. Getting back to the stage. This Is should that be it? a stock. There we go. Kiki taking an early lead here. Only 80%. Yeah. Oh, wow. the flick for forward smash. Still not going to kill, though. No Very rage for Moogie. Oh, that nice. yeah, will, though. Just catching that overextension there, falling with the back hit of that neutral or combo straight into the back here. And I like that, using the down tilt there, looking for an early gimp. Oh. All right, right now it's in and out with both players right now. Um, Moogie a little down, but he's not out. All right, this is the side. Trying to tie it up. Ooh. Sees the defensive option coming. Oh no. Covering space with that banana. And then using that banana to cover space himself and find the punish. Kiki trying to find something here. Yeah, that was scary. It's a slight edge, but not much. No. It's just really hard to see what Moogie would have planned for. He's doing a great job getting away, but he needs this percentage just to rack up damage on Kiki. But Kiki with this wall of bananas, flip kicks, and grabs, he's not letting him at all approach. Oh no. No. Not okay, yet. living. Oh, I thought he was going to catch him with another pin. Oh no, is that it? Oh, wow. What a Very turnaround. Very unfortunate. Especially when Moogie almost had it, too. Exactly. And then he had him off the ledge.